Okay, so we're talking about health-related fitness, and if you guys notice, there's five big chunks, um, and all of them are equal sizes. That's because all of them are equally um, important as we're talking about your health. Health is something you want for a lifetime. We're not talking about skill-related fitness. We're not talking about being an athlete. This is you just being a healthy person, okay? W's of the fitness gram. So this is what you guys see is the fitness gram test that we do. And it assesses the five things. They use it all the way from kindergarten through college. Um, tens of thousands of schools nationwide use it. We're not the only one. It's a national database. And it's an assessment that's not based on athletic ability, but on good health. And so it's created for everyone so that they can find a good gauge of where they are as an individual. Cardiovascular endurance. So that is the use of your heart and your circulatory system. So that's all your blood, oxygen levels coming into your muscles for extended periods of time. What we use to assess it is our pacer testing. Um, why is it important? Because it's just you being able to walk places. Some of you guys know people who they get out of breath super fast. They don't have very good cardiovascular endurance. How to improve it? You do it more. Then we have muscular endurance. This refers to the ability to do it over an extended period of time, the length of time without getting tired. What we use is push-ups and sit-ups. Okay, so that's muscular endurance, push-ups, sit-ups, that's on one of your bingo things. Um, this is important to be able to maintain an activity for a duration of time. Example, being able to carry your backpack. Is it you pick it up and, oh my gosh, I'm already tired, I need to put it down, or can you hold it for a while? How to improve it? Do things for a longer duration of time. Muscular strength. This is the maximum amount of force a muscle can exert against an op opposing force. So how much your muscle can lift. So our assessments we use are the push-ups and sit-ups, so sit-ups, curl-ups, as well as the trunk lift. The trunk lift is assessing your back strength. Um, this is important for things for opening things, closing things, lifting things. How to improve it? Increase the weight. Okay, if you can pick up five pounds, move up, try to do 10 pounds. Flexibility, this is the ability to move a body part through a full range of motion at a joint. So ROM, ROM is range of motion. Um, we usually do the sit and reach, but we don't have boxes for each of you. So for this quarter, we're gonna do the shoulder stretch, which is the one where you reach back behind your back and up behind your back. Um, why flexibility is important, that helps keep you from getting injured and improves functionality, okay? Things so that you don't pull muscles as much. Um, how to improve it? Stretching, yoga, just plain using the joint. If you don't use it, you're not gonna be very flexible in that joint. Body composition, okay? This is the ratio of body fat to lean body mass, okay? So your body is comprised of things like water, bone, muscles, tissue, tendons, ligaments. So what we use is BMI because it's really easy, but there's also like in the picture that's the skin fold test, water displacement, DEXTA scans. This is important to evaluate disease factors, okay? Things where you have higher chances for cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, arthritis, obesity. How to improve it? Hey, guess what? Physical activity and nutrition, okay? So, sports examples, okay? Um, if you have some, I have it where it's not gonna show your face. Anyone have any examples of a sport that you probably need cardiovascular endurance? Football? Uh, running and jogging. Perfect. Great answers. How about for muscular strength? What's a sport that needs muscular strength? Bowling? I think that one is football. Football? Push-ups. I think push-ups. Push okay. Yeah, most sports need muscular strength. If you pick up something, that's still muscular strength. How about endurance? Right. Volleyball. Volleyball. Um... Uh... Push-ups? Olympics? Push-ups, Olympics, yeah. A lot of Olympic games. If you're running for a long time, you need to have very good muscles for that. How about flexibility? What's a sport that needs flexibility? <laughs> Gymnastics. Gymnastics is a very big one that people think about. And then think about things like um, football. If you're the center, you need to be flexible enough to go and bend over and go and snap a ball, okay? Doesn't have to be super crazy flexibility. And body composition. Is there certain sports where they care about how much muscle or fat you have? Not really. What about wrestling? Oh, yeah. 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 So they go and do things like that. 
So what about everyday examples? What's something every day just in regular life where you need to have cardiovascular endurance to be able to do what? Um, walking. Yeah, just walk places. How about muscular strength? Why would you want to have muscular strength every day? Uh, if you're lifting something heavy. Um, exactly. Like maybe a box full of like something really heavy and you got to lift it like maybe into a car or something. Yeah, so like if you're moving stuff. Okay. How about muscular endurance? Um, uh, going swimming? Yeah, going swimming. Have you guys ever been hiking where you have to carry your water bottle the whole time? Why yeah. do you want to be flexible every day? And then body composition just every day. Um, think about like going on rides. If you go to certain parks, do you have to be certain heights or certain weights to be able to ride different rides? Yeah. Yeah. Like think about the little kids. They can't ride certain rides because they're too light or too small. Okay. So those are pieces that you want to be taking into account.